Hello, hello, and welcome um, to the kickoff of our uh, second one book, uh, one PIT book. Um, when we launched this uh, last year um, during the height of, of the COVID-19 pandemic, um, I was, of course, very hopeful that it was something that we would be able to continue, that we would be able to continue to bring the PIT community together through um, a common book. Um, and be able to have um, different discussions um, and hopefully different events around uh, the book every year. So I'm very excited to um, be moving forward with our second book in the One Book, One PIT, um, I guess you could say series. Um, this book is called When Stars Are Scattered. Um, and one of the things that you will notice is that it is a graphic novel. And I don't want that to deter you. One of the things that we were really very um, interested in doing um, this go round with the One Book, One PIT book was having a book that the members of our community, faculty, staff, and students could actually take back um, to their families. Um, regardless of the age of the person in their household and have an opportunity to expand that love of reading um, with whomever was in their house. Um, it's a, suitable for all ages. It takes a very difficult um, topic. Um, the, our protagonist and his younger brother live in a refugee camp um, in Kenya. And so it takes a very difficult conversation um and addresses it in a way that can inspire conversations not just amongst us as faculty staff and students of pit but also with the folks in your house or the folks in your family um you can share this book and be able to have these kind of conversations um with them as well so we were looking for something that would translate to everyone regardless of the age of the person that you might be sharing this with um on our uh, launch today is um, our most esteemed librarian, the director of the library, uh, Kristen Burnett, and I'm going to turn it over to her for just a little bit more about one book, one PIT, and this book in particular. Take it away. Okay. Can everyone hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm using a new microphone. First of all, I just have to say welcome everyone. I'm so excited that we have people because I'm a librarian dork, but I love this book and I, being able to talk to people about it, especially with different backgrounds, different experiences, you know, I can't wait to hear what you all think. Um, I do have to admit, I am still in the like first couple chapters. Uh, I took the book with me to the beach and while it's amazing, it was heartbreaking like I was crying so I was like I can't read this at the beach um but I think I'm up to like chapter four and so first off I wanted to say uh does everyone have a copy of the book we have the book available at PIT I can mail you a physical copy of the book or you can download the ebook and read it on any device or we also have the audiobook uh sometimes I like to listen to books while I run on the treadmill so if anybody needs a book let me know yep yeah, Monique Okay, uh, Monique, after this, email me. Um, let me share the screen here. Okay. Oh. Sorry, technical difficulties. Well, while I'm getting the page pulled up, uh, Monique and uh, Dennison, I don't know if I said your name right. Why don't you unmute yourselves? Um, tell me how to properly pronounce your name first, and then let me know if you need a book or not. All right, Monique, you're up. Um, yes, I need a book, and you pronounce my name just fine. Mm 
sorry, I didn't realize I was still on new, new microphone. Um, yeah, I will definitely get you a book. We'll stay after and then just let me know what you would prefer, you know, a hardcover book or ebook or audiobook, and I can walk you through that. Um, but to let you all know a little bit more about this book and why we picked it, uh, I really liked the fact that it was a graphic novel because to me, when I was growing up, the only books with pictures were like, the you're learning to read books or comic books. And so the fact that this is like a critically acclaimed, well-written, beautiful story, I love that the visuals go with it so well. Um, and I know some people are like, oh, we're at college. Why are you picking up, <laughs> you know, a graphic novel? Um, <laughs> because I think it's cool. And, you know, when I was reading it, even my husband likes all the pictures and he's like, oh, what's that about? And I started to tell him and then he's like, oh, let me read it when you're done. Um, so I hope you all like it. Uh, if you don't know yet what the book is about, it's about uh, two brothers who are orphaned. No, they're not orphans. They're separated from their mother. Um, it was during the Civil War. Um, I want to say Ethiopia. Somalia, sorry, Somalia. So it was the Civil War of Somalia. This is a true story. This really did happen. Uh, these brothers exist. You can actually tweet with one of them the author omar he's actually really fun you can tweet him on twitter if you'd like so down here is his twitter link i was going to invite him to come to one of our discussions later uh once we read the book a bit more and have you know questions and things we want to know from him uh but the fact that it's a true story that when he and his brother who's special needs his brother is kind of non-verbal um he only says one thing and he has some learning disabilities but the fact that he's nine years old, taking care of his like seven year old, you know, uh, physically and mentally challenged brother in a refugee camp with no one. And just to see like, oh, my gosh, like I couldn't keep like a gerbil alive at nine. How this boy <laughs> on his own. And, I, you know, I'm talking too much. Let me hear what you all think. No, you're doing good. Okay. So just the fact that they're in this refugee camp and, you know, I thought I was a good person. I donate, you know, to different charities and stuff, but I never really thought about like the refugee camps. I always thought, oh, that's so nice, you know, that the UN goes there and helps these people and provides for them. And that's kind of really superficial. Reading this has really opened my eyes that, yes, they're in a place where they're not going to be killed by mercenaries, but they have no food, no water, no education, no sanitation. Like for him, getting a pencil and notebook was like the day I got my iPhone, like the first one. And I was like, oh, my gosh, iPhone, you know, super excited. But for him, he's like, I got a pencil and paper. He doesn't even know how to read or write, but just that he has a pencil and paper. And then hearing the story about how hard that was to get, because in their class of like 50 kids, there's only like three kids who have a pencil and paper. And I'm like, wow, that, you know, the spirit of these people in this situation making the best of it it really reminds me that overall humanity always overcomes like you know we look at all the hardships of slavery and i'm not going to go down that path but just the fact that even under those conditions people found a way to keep their culture their joy their honor and traditions and that's what this little boy is doing under essentially the same harsh conditions um and just the fact that when he had the opportunity to go to school how much he didn't want to do it because he didn't want to leave his brother. And like, that was heartbreaking for me. I'm not going to talk more about the plot because I want everybody to get a chance to read the book. Um, but for me, no kid should have to decide, do I go to school or do I take care of, you know, my brother who needs these special needs? And I was just astounded again, like I said, nine-year-old, I couldn't keep a hamster alive. He not only keeps his brother alive, but he sacrifices so much for him you know, even his education. And then he feels so unbelievably guilty for going. And it really opened my mind and not to be superficial, but I definitely, I, well, we had always sponsored children through Compassion International, but I, when I was reading the first chapter, I was like, oh, I got to go write them <laughs> like right now. And I realized that, you know, it's not just about 
you know, the money and the support, but just the connecting and just saying, Hey, you're a person, you're still a person. I'm going to treat you like a person. It's just a bad situation. Um, if you guys haven't, I don't know if the video will play. If I hit play, will it play? Um, you want to go out and come back in. So you want to make sure that you are sharing your computer sound. So if you unshare and then reshare and make sure you click at the bottom. Job is to there you go. College ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Please. Harper and econ. Okay, I did share with sound. Can you hear? In a refugee camp, I'm gonna start from the. It beginning. feels like. Well, I plan on starting at the beginning. In a refugee camp, it feels like all you ever do is wait, wait for food, wait for water, wait for your life to start. My brother Hassan and I live in a refugee camp in Kenya, in Africa. We are here waiting for the war in Somalia to end so we can go back home where our mom will be able to find us. In a place as crowded as this, it's easy to feel alone. But I have my brother. I have my school, and I have the community around me. I didn't choose to be a refugee, but I'm choosing to believe in a future for my family. I can't wait to start me. <laughs> you in the trailer like gave me goosebumps and I don't want to give anything away. Remember, I'm only on like chapter three or four, uh, but I did do some research because I'm a librarian dork. I told you that at the beginning um, and it, it has a happy ending. And what I did is I added, oh, how do I go back? Uh, on the lib guide that I created, you can actually find information he after everything he went through, I'm not giving away the book, but he now runs a refugee charity where he goes back to Africa and brings like pencils. He's like, and then to get to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I go to the dollar store, get a pack of pencils, don't think about it. And now I'm like, how can I get a dozen and send them to him? <laughs> um, but it just, it, it's eye opening and seeing it from a child's eye, I think that perspective. Um, I think a lot of adults, we need to sometimes have that perspective. And I think that's what I actually um, appreciated about the graphic novel is that it was from the, a child's perspective, right? Like um, years ago, I read a immigration story, first person account, um, <laughs> but she was writing it as an adult. And she was talking about her story and um, it's really, it's heartbreaking. Um, the division of family, some are here, some are there, wherever there may be, they're trying to communicate, they're trying to bring the family back together. All of that is extraordinarily heartbreaking. Um, and she took it from when she was a child and her father first left until she was able to join him um, in America. But she was writing it retrospectively as an adult. Um, and there was something about reading it. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit further along. Um, but there's something about reading it from a child's perspective that made it, and it's odd, simultaneously heartbreaking and hopeful. Um, you know, the, the, the other book that I read, she was an adult. She knows how the story ends. She's writing it retrospectively. She knows what she went through. This is coming from the voice of, and it's written from the voice of a child, even though obviously he's writing it as an adult, but it's coming from the voice of a child and you can hear um, the hope. Like it's heartbreaking, but there's still hope here. Um, I hope that I'll be able to do this. I hope that we, because they're a unit, we will be able to do this and we will be able to do that and we will have access to this and we'll be able to go back to mom and we'll be, you know, like just this constant, it'll happen you know no really understanding of when or where how or why but just this faith that mm -hmm. this is all going to come together um and you know we talk about um you know in certain traditions about having childlike faith um this is that in action 
um, of having that, the faith of a child of, of course, it's all going to work out. Why wouldn't it? I don't know how. I can't see how. I don't understand how. But I'm nine years old. Yeah. I've, I've had the hardest nine years that anyone should ever have. It's been war. I've been born into war. I've lived in war. I'm living through war. Um, you know, my parents are not with me. I'm in a strange land with strange people. And yet, it's all going to work out. I don't know how. And I think that's <laughs> what the, 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 you know, written from the perspective of a child, written in a medium that we associate with children, makes it just that much more hopeful and heartbreaking. Mm. Accessible. I'm hoping my uh, 10 year old daughter will read it with me because she loves graphic novels, manga, you know, that like that's her, that's her thing. Um, and it is, you know, it's appropriate for if you're 10 or if you're 90. But one of the things that I really liked is when we were debating, you know, what book to pick for this year, um, Kamira pointed out that at PIT, we actually have a large community of um, immigrants at our school, a lot of West African immigrants. We just have a lot of immigrants. And I would love it, Monique, if you could help spread the word about this, because well, I'd really yeah. like to get, you know, an immigrant's perspective. And, you know, since... I don't think they're aware, but we do. We have a large community at PIT and it'd be nice to connect with them and say, you know, hey, I see you, tell me, because I don't know what you went through. So. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> well, well, Monique, today was just an introduction, just to go over the book, get started, let you know that we have a couple fun things planned throughout the year. It's like a year long journey. Okay. Um, there are no assignments. So read at your own pace. You don't yes. have to like start the book whenever you want and read as much as you want and finish when you want. Uh, there's no homework, there's no assignments, <laughs> but we'll be having hopefully fun events. We're going to have a book discussion once more people get the book and we get like, you know, two or three chapters in. Uh, we're going to have hopefully maybe a discussion about immigration in general. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I see Matt Myers. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I, I I wanted to join you, but I wanted to multitask. I apologize. Oh, no, don't multitask. Do you know how many meetings I do for my car? You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> this is uh, I'm excited to get the book. I actually ordered it, and uh, but it's shipping media mail, so I'll get it probably in six months. That's now, Monique, why, should, why did he do that? What, where could he have gotten the book for free today? The library, PIT. <laughs> Thank you, Monique. Uh, I, I was at the PIT. I was at PIT today, so that would have been convenient. <laughs> well, as Monique knows, we have the ebook available, the audio book, and we do have print copies of the book. If you would like from the library, or if you want an additional copy for you know a friend to read or something. Uh, but I think this is a great start. And I think, you know, Monique, I'm going to hook you up. Let me know which, how you want the book. Uh, do you prefer ebook, audiobook, or print? Um, ebook. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Then if you don't mind, uh, I'm just going to show Monique how to get the ebook, but Kamira, unless you had anything else for the introduction discussion. No, I just, I just wanted to say again, you know, thank you for popping on for learning more about our one book one PIT uh, community uh, book um, and I just wanted to reiterate seriously we we are not you have to have five chapters read by a certain time um, okay. participate at your we hope that you come to everything even if you only have gotten a chapter in okay we already have some ideas about um, as Kristen said she's looking at um, connecting with the author we already have some ideas about a panel. We're going to be having conversations throughout the year about the book. So um, a panel of, of, uh, of people who have firsthand experience of being um, uh, through the process of being, you know, in refugee camps, et cetera. Um, so we're, we're navigating, putting all of that together. Even if you've only read the first three words, come. <laughs> <laughs> we, we would we love to have participants regardless of where you are in the story can i ask you a question what time is um this platform usually done around what time like the times 
Uh, you mean for one book, one PIT? Yes. Um, well, the next book discussion is probably going to start again at four, and we probably won't be more than an hour. Or Fridays always? Um, or? That's the plan. Okay, that, great. That works for you? Yes, yes, oh, good, good, it does. Good. That, that has been a problem with me trying to, like I'm always reading my webmail and they have a meditation and all kind of great stuff that I can't really participate in because I'm in the nursing program and I have so much to do. Like, and it's so hard for me to balance everything with the cooking and being married and the children and the house cleaning and the dog and the oh, sick. preach, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so much. I'm like, ah, but this, like now, like I can, who side is something that I really like to do. I used to love reading. I don't read as much as I used to, but I love it. It's like I escape everything. Nothing around me. I can hear nothing when I'm into a book and I'm really enjoy enjoying it. Like it just relaxes me. That's awesome. Tell everyone in nursing, because I, I understand how busy and the pressure, and sometimes it's nice to just read a book for fun, not for school, not for mm -hmm work or even just just to talk because of COVID I miss adult conversation <laughs> so please tell all your friends to come join us I will um but here I wanted to show you so this is the library's homepage. uh you can get to it many ways you can google PIT library you can go to the my.pit.edu page you can even go to let me actually show you <laughs> No, wait, that, wait, oh, I clicked the wrong one. All right. So from the PIT homepage, it's just pit.edu to get started. Mm -hmm. um, and if you go under academics, you, oh, you'll get the library. You can do it that way. There's many links in here and that takes you to the library page. So to get the book, uh, you can click you're like, I, oh, I don't have a pointer. Um, I hope you can see that I clicked at the PIT LibGuides. These are all the different guides. So the library has millions and millions of information. And they say trying to get information now is like trying to get a sip of water from a fire hose. <laughs> you need a professional to help you so you don't get blown away. Uh, so what I do is I go through all of PIT's millions of resources, journals, citations, and I only say, you know, this is what's important, like for nursing, you know, like here's just all the stuff you need for nursing. I took out all the stuff about jazz music and how to make a film. But if you need nursing, you know, books or journals or databases, it's all here. And there's a lot of test information, too. Um, oh. You can even download like flashcards, which I like, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So there's a lot of stuff here. I'm trying to get the word out. There's also tools and simulations. So if you need to like practice, you know, doing blood pressure, syringes, you know, height and weight, there's all these simulation tools you can use. But really what How I'm supposed to tell you. Oh, sorry. How about the math, the um, conversions for nursing? Oh, Do y'all have uh, that also? Let's see. I love that this is just happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not holding anyone up. Am Absolutely I? not. No. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking and I, I live might, for this. <laughs> I was going to say, I might leave the two of you to just have this one on one library tutoring session. As a matter of fact, Monique, yes. I, I hear your grades going up as well. <laughs> we do but have what, a math book, we have math okay. for nurses. Okay. So, can I ask y'all one more thing? Y'all okay, first. Away. Y'all first book was called, um, cause I mean, I, I was in the first, I don't know if it was y'all book club. I know I came to a, a, a setting like this before and the name of the book was. Um, Here, I can show you last year's book. It was The Hate You Get. Yes, I have it. I, yes. It's good. <laughs> I didn't finish reading it though, but I actually have the book. Yeah, it's good. It, it reminded me how much I love Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know and for them for the kids it was all like retro and I'm like oh my gosh they're listening to boys to men and talking to Tupac and Biggie like that's me I remember that uh, but here is where you will find for one book one PIT this year's page um, and you can click on right here Oh, wait, I made it easier. You can either click here to get the ebook, you can click here to get the audiobook, and then so just click ebook. Mm -hmm. 
And it's going to take you to these are all of our uh, streaming ebooks. And since I do have your attention, I'm going to give you a bit of a little library thing here. Uh, PIT also has a lot of streaming movies and ebooks and everything. And even like for my kids, there's like streaming kids shows. So like I can have my daughter watch My Little Ponies or Zapped, and then I can get work oh. done. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's kind of nice. And you don't have to pay for it because it's all free. So hey. Uh, that's cheaper than the duct tape and rope I bought. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we got over 300 ebooks in here, audiobooks, videos, uh, new books. If there's ever a book you want, just shoot me an email and I'll get it for you. Uh, I live to serve. Um, you know, got a lot of good stuff in here. So check it out. Uh, like yeah. I said, you can download it. You can do a lot of things. Oh, for nursing, I do have a nursing collection. Uh, all right, social justice, new can. Oh, I have to go find it. I have a nursing collection. I'll send you the link. Uh, but it, it takes you straight to the book. Mm -hmm. Let me get that link again. All right, so ebook. Mm -hmm. Matt, this is for you too. Click on ebook. If you, <laughs> if you click <laughs> on borrow, it's going to ask you to log in mm -hmm. here. You use the start of your email address for PIT. So for me, it's just Kristen.Burnett. And then the password is the same password that you use for your email and everything else. So whatever your PIT email address is, that's your same password you use here. So here it's saying, how long do I wanna borrow it? And you can renew you know, even if as right. as you want. And so here now I have it, I can either read it, you know, with Kindle on my uh, tablet, I could read it on my phone, I can download it however I want. Um, and it's really nice just to be able to, you never know, like when you're gonna have a chance to read and not having to carry a book. And I was like, I was waiting for my groceries to be loaded in the car. I was like, I can read a minute. <laughs> uh, I got all happy about that. <laughs> Uh, but this is what it looks like to give you an idea. You can still see all of the pictures. You can make the text bigger or smaller, uh, whatever you want. Um, but yep, that's how you get the that ebook. So you, cool. can, you can have it today. So, okay, I'm gonna log on. I'm gonna do everything today and get it. All right, excellent. I'm gonna go return the book. Uh, <laughs> but thank you, Monique and Matt, for joining thank us. Thank you for joining thank us. Have for a all the day. information. Oh. <laughs> oh, and today's my birthday. What? Why didn't you leave with that? Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> all right, next time. Birthday with my dad. Oh. So there you go. Happy wow. birthday, Max, Dad. Yeah, happy birthday, Max. Dad. Right. <laughs> Hey, Monique, right. next time you're on okay. campus, stop by the library and I'll give you a special PIT library bag. Oh, great. All right, that's Tuesday. Tuesday? Yes. Okay, shoot me an email. Let me know what time, because technically the library is not open yet, but I mm -hmm. go there all the time. So just email me, um, library at pit.edu, super easy. Uh, and let me know what time you'll be there. And I'd be happy to, you know, show you the library. I could pull a bunch of, you know, nursing math books and conversion stuff to help you out. And it's going to make a difference with your work. I guarantee it's, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. I need this. Thank you so much. Yes. Wait a minute, can I write that down? Yeah. I don't want to forget. Hold on. Absolutely. So I'm such a librarian. Like this makes me so happy. <laughs> hey, hey, Kristen, I'm going to ask you a quick question while I got you. Yeah. I, I was hoping to read the book with my almost 11 year old daughter. Is it, is it appropriate? Yes, I'm doing that with my 10 year old. Uh, so Very yes, good. absolutely. Because it's told okay. from a kid's perspective with a kid's vocabulary and a kid's understanding. That's what I thought. I just wanted to get a make sure with the librarian before I get into something over my head. No, and have her join us because me and my daughter, I told her she can join our conversations too. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyone who reads the book, it's for the whole community. So, you know, if you have your your spouse, your kids, your grandkids, we could get them the book and they can join the conversation. So Monique, just do library, just L-I-B-R-A, 
R Y. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know I had to think. It's for Friday. A I know. <laughs> at P I T period E D U. Okay. All right. And everybody have a great Friday, Monique. Enjoy your birthday. I hope you live Thank it up you. tonight. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. I'll yeah. be studying, but. <laughs> Hey, go use me. the library. Go use those e resources I showed you. <laughs> oh, I'll be reading. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to start reading my book. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Well, have a great weekend, everyone. All right. Thank, Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.